Hi guys, welcome to Big Laws Official. Today we're going to go through a chest workout, training in Cheltenham at our little gym with my brother Harry today. Uh, focusing on chest. Yep, chest session today. You got a session planned for us? So. We have, yeah. Going to do some uh, incline bench, then a nasty chest circuit, um, then some more cable flies into cable presses, and then some conditioning. We're going to do some conditioning to finish with. I don't like the sound of this nasty no. um, chest circuit. I've done one with him once before and it's pretty nasty, so it'd be good for you guys to watch. Um, see me suffer. Harry's kind of, you know, getting in pretty good shape at the moment, trying to help me, just motivate me, get into some kind of focus. I've been, my goal at the moment is to lose some, some weight. I want to get down to 140 kilos. And if I'm totally honest, the last couple of weeks, I sort of lost my focus, had a few things happening and um, just lost that drive. And I, I sort of want to be honest with you guys about that because people sometimes look up, uh, you know, I don't know, strong men or whoever kind of influences them and think we're all perfect and, and just always doing great. But I've struggled with my diet the last few weeks. There's been a lot of things personally that have been going on. Not making any excuses, it's my own fault for, for kind of slacking, but now focused again. So we're gonna train hard, back on form with the diet, and um, hopefully now I can really stay focused and keep driving forward and, and achieve the goals I've set myself. But come and join us for this chest workout, it'll be fun. You can see us both suffer and um, just have some fun. So we're starting off with the incline bench. This is a good movement for, for strong men, particularly as you're focusing on upper chest and you know anything that involves pressing overhead. You're better off doing an incline than a flat bench, to be totally honest. So we're just warming up. We're gonna warm up probably sets of five to three reps. Then we're gonna work up to a reasonably comfortable single, not like max effort, but just a heavy weight. And then we're dropping down for some sets of five to eight, just to get some blood in there, try and build some muscle. And then we'll get into the nasty stuff after that. So what are you gonna, what are you gonna work up to? Um, I want to do a working set with a hundred, so hopefully like sort of maybe five to eight with a hundred. So I don't know, one ten, one fifteen, so it feels cool. as we go up. And uh, I'll probably yeah, from there. I'll probably go to about one sixty and then do my working sets with okay. about one forty today. Obviously, strength is is down at the moment. Um, I've never been the world's greatest bench presser, but I have benched five hundred pounds in a comp. But quite enjoying a different variation right now focusing more on the incline and just a different focus rather than worrying too much about what the, the max effort is it's more about just breaking down the muscles feeling like you get a good pump and, and just feeling like you've got a good workout without killing ourselves okay mother good Bench makes Harry cross-eyed. I know. <laughs> uh, do you know what? When I was warming up, I thought, right, I'm going to look at the ceiling, but I can't do it. So I'm just going to be cross-eyed for bench press. Yeah. Never noticed that. A couple before. of important things for, for any type of bench, but um, or any type of pressing movement that you're doing. Um, one thing is to get your feet planted into the ground. I mean, on a normal bench, if I was benching in powerlifting, I'd actually go onto my, my toes and have my heels up. For, for the incline and bodybuilding purposes, I'm going to keep my heels flat down but you do want to try and drive your feet into the floor to create that stability. You want your whole body as stable as possible. And then what I tend to do is retract my shoulder blades, squeeze down so I keep my back as tight as possible. And then I take a deep breath, unrack, and I try and hold my breath for the whole set. It's all right doing these lower reps, but when you do the higher reps, it's quite hard. And if you, if you have to exhale, then obviously do. But try and make sure you take another deep breath, retract again, keep your chest up as high as possible, and it'll just keep you stable, it'll keep your back solid, and you should find you're able to lift a little bit more weight. Yep. Your butt. Hundred K. So obviously today we're gonna to do a bit of rep, sort of, I don't know hypertrophy range anywhere from sort of six to 12 on the bench. If you were, say, coming up to log for max, what would your rep range look like? Probably be a bit different. If I was going for a max? Yeah. Yeah, it'd be w much, much lower. Focusing on like three to one, or one to three kind Multiple of range. Multiple sets, ones, two. I, I tend to do a lot of sets. So when I'm focusing on like the, the power type of training, everything becomes about technique and movement patterns. So I do a lot of sets. Um, but lower reps. Yeah. Obviously the higher rep stuff, sets of eight to 12, there's more chance of technical breakdown. Yeah. And when you're, you're looking at being as consistent as possible in a competition, you want your technique to be as good as possible. Now that's not to say your technique doesn't break down when you're going for maximum loads. E everyone does to a certain degree, but you want to be practicing the same movement from your very first set. So I, I tend to do low reps, even on my warm ups, yeah. just because it's, 
it's like practicing a skill for any sport. Yeah. So you think of, I don't know, a tennis player practicing a forehand. Yeah. Same kind of thing with, with whatever movement you do in, in your sport. So if you're a strong man, you're doing log lift or, or bench or whatever it might be, you've got to treat that as a skill, not just as a weight that you're lifting. So you want to actually just get better at the movement, not just get stronger. If you can, in, in, if you can kind of get both aspects, technique and strength getting better, that's when you're going to see really good, good improvements and, and become an elite level lifter. So that's a bit of a difference then to sort of bodybuilding and hypertrophy where you're trying to take your muscle to complete exhaustion a lot of the time. Yeah, when I'm training for power, never, yeah. I never go to failure. Whereas doing the bodybuilding stuff yeah. that we're going to do today, like the, the high circuits and later, you'll see us failing reps. Yeah. And it's, Which it's is the about, idea. Yeah. yeah. There's just same kind of tools, but different outcomes, different results. Three, two, one. My bar. Yep. Yep. What's the dodgiest thing you've had to press? You probably. Me? <laughs> no. That should be easy to press. <laughs> yeah, you're easy to press. Rachel <laughs> Riley. I did bench, I, I pressed Rachel Riley. Just That's the backlash true. was dodgy. <laughs> the backlash that I got from her fans when I pressed Rachel Riley. Yeah, the um, I, I, pe I people are, that one, yeah. you, you were upset with you. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of shit for pressing yeah. her from from some She's of her, some her fans. fans. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, they're loyal fans, obviously. Yeah. But um, yeah, people are always awkward to press. I lifted up a, a headmaster once at a school, and he sort of wriggled, and I dropped him, and the kids just thought it was hilarious. So I, I tend to stop lifting people <laughs> since then. But um, I also lifted someone in a, in a bar once, and I was drunk, and. I dropped this guy <laughs> and he thought, he thought it was hilarious. He went and bought me more drinks afterwards, but that was back in my drinking days. I don't, I don't drink anymore. So. <laughs> Were you nervous about H? Missing the weight? Um, no, so much that. I've had a few sort of pec tears. I'm going to grab it. I don't think you're going to Yeah, so I'm just going to take it down a bit slow just to actually have it this way on an incline. So, three, two, one. My God. Yep. Good laugh. Yep. Ooh. I'm gonna go 170 for my heavy nice. set. Didn't feel bad. My best ever on incline is only like I think 202, 205. So it's not too bad considering the kind of shape that I'm in. I tend to, to go through stages of training different things. So I haven't done incline bench for ages. Just the last couple of weeks training with Harry. We've done incline three weeks in a row. Yeah, and we've actually done different inclines. We've done shallow incline, um, and then a bit of a steeper incline as well. So we can mix them up a little bit. Just doing the wrist wraps. I tend to um, try and wrap up the back of my hand rather than just around the wrist. It just gives it that support when you're benching. Try and keep your wrist straight rather than tilted back. So just a bit more support on the back of the hand tends to help a little bit more. And then we get some of the hellfire. I'm gonna let Liz have a sniff of this. Oh God, no. <laughs> yeah! Oh. Feel too bad. I'm quite happy with that. 170? Yeah, 140 for some reps. Yeah. yeah. So we're doing some reps now. So Harry's got 100 kilos. Aiming for five to eight reps? Yeah, first working set, really. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one. Oh, God. Come on. Good, come on, and again. Good, one more. Yes, come on. Let's push. Good luck. It's funny, when I, when I train for strongman, I plan everything, meticulously to peak at a certain time. Whereas with the bodybuilding stuff, I just go a bit more on feel. Um, right now, I'm not kind of 
being too strict on what I have to do. I'm just sort of seeing how my body feels and just having a bit more fun with it. Did I go cross-eyed? I don't think so. <laughs> Good. Nice, come on. And again. One more. Good luck. Just holding the breath at the moment. I'm out of practice. Four reps in and it was all out. <laughs> to use lots of plates, make it look better than it is. Did you come up with a name? Did you choose a name? We haven't come up with a name for the gym. Just our little strength shed, I guess. Well, the Chatelot strength shed. I think a few people said, did they say that? I'm happy to go with that. That's, that's cool. Should we christen it? What should we do? <laughs> Not like that, you pervert. <laughs> I wasn't thinking anything. In a gym way. I know what I know what these people think of you, young lady. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who planted that seed. <laughs> you, you, you just got that look in your eye. So when are we gonna get you training? Oh. On the 32nd of December. <laughs> <laughs> People were admiring your arms. My so, arms? Yeah. Well, that's something, yeah. Can't yeah. deadlift. Can't <laughs> squat, can't bench press. <laughs> you're you're about give me some looking thing. strong. <laughs> well, no, I used to use a bit of strong man. I enjoyed it, but I mean, I, I enjoy just sort of now a bit of all round training. So whether it's a little bit of strong man, a little bit of bodybuilding, conditioning, then just feeling fitter. Um, yeah, it's. You were, you were a good um, junior strong man, weren't I you? I competed against Graham Hicks, I think. Yeah. So, and Adam Bishop, so there you go. Compete against two Britain's strongest men. Yeah, didn't mm -hmm. beat them, but I competed against them. <laughs> <laughs> They're pretty good, to be fair. Yeah, they are. But you, you did all right in a few shows. You won a couple of strongman competitions, didn't you? When you yeah, I think I was lucky that I had obviously a lot of equipment to train with, and I was always quite good at the events, but never had really the the static strength. Um, You're a good, good natural athlete. Sort yeah. Of. Well. Ish. Yeah. yeah. No, it's okay. He's, yeah. he's putting himself down. He's pretty good. So, what's the plan, Mr. H? So, we're coming to our chest circuit now, uh, which is pretty nasty. So, four exercises. We're going to go for 10 reps on each. We're going to start off with a cable fly into body weight press ups, into yeah. dumbbell flies, into flat bench press. Okay, so oh, we're really? probably going to fail a very light. Flat bench press, I'd imagine. <laughs> it's gonna look super weak.
Nothing worse when a weight that feels normally really light for you just starts getting really heavy. Those last few reps were tough. Just get to my hands. One, two. Lower your hands. Three, four, five. So last chest exercise, we're doing some flies into cable presses. You got it. So what kind of rep range are we looking on this? I'm gonna try and go for 10 and 10, okay? Just finish off the chest. So it's on a shallow incline, 10 flies into 10 presses. So not sure how much my chest has left, but we'll see. Man, I like to whinge, don't I? <laughs> I do actually enjoy training. <laughs> I, just, I just quite enjoy a whinge as well. <laughs> Choosing not to lock it out. I can see. Tension on the packs. <laughs> <laughs> Ten and five is also a good reference. <laughs> tension on the pads. <laughs> <laughs> the chest is gone. Oh, feels good. Oh. Why did I give up strongman again to do this? <laughs> this is good. Strongman, you need to be able to do reps as well. I'm sort of joking around and having a bit of a laugh, but it's good. You need to be able to condition your body to do more than one rep. Um, that circuit though has, you know, I am making a lot of excuses here, but that circuit has just totally killed my chest now. There's really not much power left at all. So we're just finishing it off. We'll try another set. Yeah. What's the hardest event you've ever done? The most <sighs> painful event you've ever done? There's a lot of painful events. There is a lot of painful events. <laughs> uh, any, any, any type of carry for distance is painful. Like shield carry? Shield carry, cone and circle. Events like the cone and circle or, or like a shield carry where there's no finish line. You're just trying to go as far as possible. And you get to that point where you just can't breathe. The weight's kind of crushing down on your chest. You feel like your muscles are kind of getting work, like weaker and weaker, and you still try and keep pushing yourself. The, mentally, it's, it's quite tough. I try and always tell myself it's only 75 seconds or, or whatever it might be, um, time limit. So you sort of try and create that mentality in your head. But those, those type of events are really tough. What's the hardest, most awkward thing? I remember watching a few years back, I think maybe it was before in China, it's like a ding carry or something that Pudzianowski Yeah. Um, with. What's the most awkward thing you've ever had to carry? <laughs> Do you remember my first ever competition? Or second, it might be my second competition. Oh, um, Dad I do. Dad was telling you to put it down. Yeah. Put it down, it was, <laughs> I think it was called a um, was it churn like a carry. Or was it a little bit? Yeah, it was like it was a milk a, churn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That had a load of weight in it. Yeah. And you had to like, it had tiny little handles. Yeah. So you're kind of in between your legs, carrying it that for distance. And uh, being new to the sport, I just wanted to prove that I kind of belonged. Yeah. And I absolutely killed myself on it. I don't know if I, I remember Lawrence just what, not moving and holding it. He wouldn't put it down. 
<laughs> his legs had gone. He couldn't. He couldn't take any steps, and he was just holding it there like that. <laughs> yeah, he was trying to prove that I belonged. And I remember yeah. Dad saying, "Put it down, put it down," and everyone else cheering me to keep going. That was horrible. And you get anything like a duck walk or carry between your legs, you end up with the worst bruises between your legs as well. I remember when I used to do strong, you just always come away with some cut or bruise or atlas stones. Your forearms would just tan, or you'd have like pinched your belly like on. I don't even know what, you'd just be like, I don't know where that is. It's when you, when you get into the bath afterwards. Yeah. Like you feel good after the show or the training yeah. session, then you get into the bath and everything starts to sting. Mm. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> it's funny when you're young, the kind of craziness you put your body through. Come on. So what we did then was manage to talk enough to get yeah. ourselves a good rest period. <laughs> Right guys, we're going to finish off with a little circuit round. Um, as you can see, I've got the skipping rope. Bit of a test for my Achilles. I haven't done much skipping. I haven't done any skipping since I tore my Achilles. Um, but Harry suggested we do 50 skips into 15 calories on the um, air bike. Yep. Pretty tough, uh, but a real fun sort of quick yeah. cardio workout, which um, basically the rest period will be while the other one's working. So I'll do 50 skips into 15 calories. Harry rests. Then he goes, I rest three rounds. Work. Yeah, it's quick, but it's tough. Yeah. You know it's tough when I when I'm quiet. <laughs> Not joking around. It's good though. It's the kind of stuff I'm trying to get a bit better at right now. Get my all-round fitness better. Um, it's good, good fast work. I was quite happy with the skipping. To be honest, I've not skipped in so long. I was quite surprised I could manage. I used to be able to do like single footed but um just gotta be careful at the moment that's good nice way to finish off the workout good fun session with harry hope you guys enjoyed it if you want to ask any questions about the session please feel free to comment below and um we'll be back with more training soon take it easy while you're here guys subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my awesome strength content